Hi, Gary Klaven here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Now, what I just demonstrated to you is a way to get out of your emotions and back to thinking clearly. The reason we tell people to count to ten is it forces your brain to go to your prefrontal cortex, which is where you make decisions. If you're angry or emotional, you make decisions in your fear center, and they usually are not good, but they can be really bad. Why am I bringing this up? Well, because lots of financial decisions are made emotionally. In fact, studies say that a vast majority of decisions we make in life are emotional decisions. Now, if that's true, I believe it's true, then what do you, how do you not make a bad emotional decision about your money? Because you could lose a lot of money, obviously, if you make a bad decision. And the way to do that is to pre-set up the circumstances so when it does occur, you already have some guidance. You have, you've put something around this. Uh, you've made it so that there's a place you can go into. So as an example, you're gonna go buy a house and you know up front you can only afford a $300,000 house, but invariably you get jazzed up for a $500,000 house and ha yeah, ha, you know, you wanna go at it. And then you, you go back, you count to 10 and you look at what you set up and say, no, I can only do this $300,000 house with a $240,000 mortgage because I have $60,000 for a down payment and I wanna get an 80% mortgage and it's gonna help my financial situation. I'm gonna get a low interest rate and I can afford it long term. If you preset it up and you stick by that, count to 10 or do some other technique that brings you back to thinking rationally before you make a bad emotional decision, that preset will, will kind of help you in lots and lots of areas in your life. I can go through lots of examples, but you can imagine, you've done it before when you've made that mistake and you know it's the next morning where you have the blues about it because you go, gosh, I really messed up by making this bad financial decision. So preset it up, recognize, you need to give yourself a little bit of time so you don't make a bad decision, don't get forced into it, and then make a good decision financially so you can grow your wealth successfully. So until next time, enjoy.